right, so we're here. We're at Julie's uh, B13, 600 horsepower. We're gonna, we're gonna hit that 600 horsepower. Don't worry about that. The real goal is that nine second goal. But um, today we're here at the car. About to take all this shit out. And I need to find some electrical shit. Um, I have all the parts. The the switch panel. Um, I've got all the gauges that I needed. The only thing I need right now, I just need to go and pick up an exhaust manifold gasket and a four inch coupler. Other than that, we got all the parts to get this thing started and we've got everything. All we need to do is put in a little bit of work, which is not a problem over here, and um, go get two and let's run that number. The Beast, Julia B13, looking a little rough right now, but that's all right. That's all right. With a little bit of love, a little bit of force feeding, built motor. Quick rundown of the setup. It is a 2000 roller rocker block with 10 to 1 pistons, uh, H-beam rods. The head is a P11 head, stock cam, super tech valve, spr valve, uh, valve springs and retainers, stock valves, super tech valve seals. Um, that's really it. So um, with the head on these blocks, it bumps it up about 0.8. So it's sitting at around 10 8 to 1. 10 8 to 1. Uh, Borg Warner S366, four facing manifold setup from Track Forge. That company's no longer in business, but they did make quality products while they were around. So yeah, man. Uh, started taking off the radiator piping. I'm about to completely take this off and we're gonna get into it right now. Start taking all this shit out. because my threads are f***ed up, excuse me, and it's not allowing it to thread onto there. So I just got to buy a new uh, 90, 90 degree dash 4, and I have this mocked up. I put the fan is on the radiator, so now I'm going to put this on, check spacing, and check the hoses and everything. For this hose right here, I'm going to have to get something to protect it, maybe get um, a steel braided line, like a dash 16, and do it custom, because this is going to produce a lot of heat. I know I'm going to have to shield this piece of the harness also. That's going to be a lot of heat right there. And this... Yeah, that's going to burn and cause big problems. I don't want those kind of problems. So, yeah. I'm going to check this out, guys. Got the V-stack for in the front. Boom, boom, get all the boosts. We've got the bumper sloppy mounted. Mounted. This 92 bumper not gonna work. So, gotta change the bumper. This shit gonna be slow as dirt. Oh! Yeah, clean your stuff though. Alright, so in closing, guys, we had a pretty successful day. I mean, it's the first day back working on the car in a long while. Um, I do need to go and pick up that exhaust gasket. I need to pick up my terminal connectors so I can do the wiring for the uh, for the switch panel and the wire in the fuel pump hard wire. And um, yeah, then we can start the car. So it's really only three steps away. Three steps away. Oh, and I got to get the four-inch coupler for the um, for the V stack off the turbo. But I am looking for a 93-94 bumper. Um, did figure that out. The 91-92 bumper does not work for my intercooler setup. It just won't work. I need a 93-94 bumper or a sunny bumper or something like that. But I'm not paying that money for that. So I'll take a 93-94 bumper. Anybody in the tri-state area, if you see this video and you have one for sale, 
I will come to you and pick it up, send me a message or something. If you have my uh, social medias, I'll put them in the bottom there. So send me a message if you got that bumper. We're looking for a 9394 Sentra SCR from bumper. So see you guys next video. It was good to be back. Peace.